NNAAP Nurse Aid Written Practice Exam. Number 1. What is the term for a device used to take the place of a missing body part? A. Pronation. B. Abduction. C. External rotation. D. Prosthesis. The correct answer is D. Prosthesis. Number 2. When a client has left sided weakness, what part of a sweater is put on first? A. Both sleeves. B. Left sleeve. C. Client's choice. D. Right sleeve. The correct answer is B. Left sleeve. Always dress the weak arm first. Number 3. It is appropriate for a nurse aide to share the information regarding a client's status with A. Anyone the nurse aide sees fit. B. The client's family members. C. The client's roommate. D. The staff on the next shift. The correct answer is D. The staff on the next shift. Number 4. When helping a client who is recovering from a stroke to walk, the nurse aide should assist A. On the client's strong side. B. On the client's weak side. C. From behind the client. D. With a wheelchair. The correct answer is B. On the client's weak side. Number 5. The nurse aide is caring for a client who is agitated. The nurse aide should A. Speak loudly so the client can hear the instructions. B. Ask to reassign the care of this client. C. Talk in a slow, calm, reassuring manner. D. Tell the client to be quiet. The correct answer is C. Talk in a slow, calm, reassuring manner. Number 6. The purpose for padding side rails on the client's bed is to A. Use them as a restraint. B. Have a place to connect the call signal. C. Protect the client from injury. D. Keep the client warm. The correct answer is C. Protect the client from injury. Number 7. Exercises that move each muscle and joint are called A. Adduction. B. Range of motion. C. Abduction. D. Rotation. The correct answer is B. Range of motion. Number 8. How can the nurse aide best help a client who is not accepting a loss? A. Leave the client alone. B. Convince the client to accept the loss. C. Encourage the client to talk. D. Discourage individual activity. The correct answer is C. Encourage the client to talk. Number 9. The Heimlich maneuver, or abdominal thrust, is used for a client who has A. A bloody nose. B. A blocked airway. C. Fallen out of bed. D. Impaired eyesight. The correct answer is B. A blocked airway. Number 10. To best communicate with a client who is totally deaf, the nurse aide should A. Smile frequently and speak loudly. B. Smile often and talk rapidly. C. Avoid eye contact. D. Write out information. The correct answer is D. Write out information. Number 11. The nurse aide is asked by a confused client what day it is. The nurse aide should A. Explain that memory loss is natural and the date is not important. B. Ignore the request. C. Point to the date on a calendar and say the date. D. Provide the date and then test the client later. The correct answer is C. Point to the date on a calendar and say the date. Number 12. To avoid pulling the catheter when turning a male client, the catheter tube must be taped to the client's A. Bed sheet. B. Upper thigh. C. Bed frame. D. Hip. The correct answer is B. Upper thigh. Number 13. A nurse aide can assist clients with their spiritual needs by A. Taking clients to the nurse aide's church. B. Allowing clients to talk about their beliefs. C. Avoiding any religious discussions. D. Talking about the nurse aide's own spiritual beliefs. The correct answer is B. Allowing clients to talk about their beliefs. Number 14. A nurse aide must wear gloves when A. Feeding a client. B. Doing peri care. C. Giving a back rub. D. Doing range of motion. The correct answer is B. Doing peri care. Number 15. When getting ready to dress a client, the nurse aide should A. Get the first clothes the nurse aide can reach in the closet. B. Give the client a choice of what to wear. C. Use the clothes the client wore the day before. D. Choose clothes that the nurse aide personally likes.
The correct answer is B. Give the client a choice of what to wear. Number 16. If the nurse aide discovers fire in a client's room, the first thing do is A. Call the nurse in charge. B. Try to put out the fire. C. Open a window. D. Remove the client. The correct answer is D. Remove the client. Number 17. In order to communicate clearly with a client who has hearing loss, the nurse aide should A. Speak in a high pitched tone of voice. B. Stand behind the client when speaking. C. Speak in a loud and slow manner. D. Look directly at the client when speaking. The correct answer is D. Look directly at the client when speaking. Number 18. Which of the following stages of dying is usually the final stage? A. Anger. B. Acceptance. C. Bargaining. D. Depression. The correct answer is B. Acceptance. Number 19. If a client says, God is punishing me, or, why me? How should the nurse aide respond? A. Reply, God doesn't punish people. B. Listen quietly. C. Ignore the client. D. Make jokes. The correct answer is B. Listen quietly. Number 20. The role of the ombudsman is to A. Run a group of nursing homes. B. Work with the nursing home to protect clients' rights. C. Control the nursing home budget. D. Prepare classes that nurse aides take to learn about client hygiene. The correct answer is B. Work with the nursing home to protect clients' rights. Number 21. A nurse aide who is active in her church is assigned to care for a client who is not a member of any religious group. The nurse aide should A. Help the client understand the nurse aide's faith. B. Tell the client that it is important for the client to join some church, even if it is not the nurse aide's church. C. Respect the client's beliefs and avoid starting religious discussions. D. Arrange to have the nurse aide's clergyman visit the client. The correct answer is C. Respect the client's beliefs and avoid starting religious discussions. Number 22. The nurse aide notices that a client's mail has been delivered to the client's room. The nurse aide should A. Open the mail and leave it on the client's table. B. Open the mail and read it to the client. C. Read the mail to make sure it doesn't contain upsetting news. D. Give the client the unopened mail and offer help as needed. The correct answer is D. Give the client the unopened mail and offer help as needed. Number 23. Which of the following is a correct measurement of urinary output? A. 40 ounces. B. 300 cubic centimeters. C. 2 cups. D. 1 quart. The correct answer is B. 300 cubic centimeters or 300 C. C. Number 24. The client offers a nurse aide a $20 bill as a thank you for all that the nurse aide has done. The nurse aide should A. Take the money so as not to offend the client. B. Politely refuse the money. C. Take the money and buy something for the floor. D. Ask the nurse in charge what to do. The correct answer is B. Politely refuse the money. Number 25. All of the following situations are examples of abuse or neglect except A. Restraining a client according to a physician's order. B. Leaving a client alone in a bathtub. C. Threatening to withhold a client's meals. D. Leaving a client in a wet and soiled bed. The correct answer is A. Restraining a client according to a physician's order. Number 26. If a client is sitting in a chair in his room masturbating, the nurse aide should A. Report the incident to the other nurse aides. B. Tell the client to stop. C. Laugh and tell the client to go in the bathroom. D. Leave the client alone and provide privacy. The correct answer is, D. Leave the client alone and provide privacy. Number 27. To convert 4 ounces of juice to milliliters, the nurse aide should multiply. A. 4 by 5 milliliters. B. 4 by 10 milliliters. C. 4 by 15 milliliters. D. 4 by 30 milliliters. The correct answer is, D. 4 by 30 milliliters. Number 28. In giving care according to the client's bill of rights, the nurse aide should A. Provide privacy during the client's personal care. B. Open the client's mail without permission. C. 
Use the client's personal possessions for another client. D. Prevent the client from complaining about care. The correct answer is A. Provide privacy during the client's personal care. Number 29. The last sense a dying client will lose is A. Smell. B. Hearing. C. Taste. D. Sight. The correct answer is B. Hearing. Number 30. A client wakes up during the night and asks for something to eat. The nurse aide should A. Check client's diet before offering nourishment. B. Tell the client nothing is available at night. C. Explain that breakfast is coming in three hours. D. Tell the client that eating is not allowed during the night. The correct answer is A. Check client's diet before offering nourishment. Number 31. The normal aging process is best defined as the time when A. People become dependent and childlike. B. Alzheimer's disease begins. C. Normal body functions and senses decline. D. People are over 65 years of age. The correct answer is C. Normal body functions and senses decline. Number 32. If a client is confused, the nurse aide should A. Ignore the client until he starts to make sense. B. Restrain the client so that he does not hurt himself. C. Keep the client away from other clients. D. Help the client to recognize familiar things and people. The correct answer is D. Help the client to recognize familiar things and people. Number 33. What is the process of restoring a disabled client to the highest level of functioning possible? A. Responsibility. B. Retention. C. Rehabilitation. D. Reincarnation. The correct answer is C. Rehabilitation. Number 34. When changing an unsterile dressing, the nurse aide should wash hands, A, before the procedure, B, after the procedure, C, before and after the procedure, D, before, after removal of the soiled dressing, and after the procedure. The correct answer is, D, before, after removal of the soiled dressing, and after the procedure. Number 35. Clean bed linen placed in a client's room but not used should be, A, Return to the linen closet. B. Used for a client in the next room. C. Taken to the nurse in charge. D. Put in the dirty linen container. The correct answer is D. Put in the dirty linen container. Number 36. The nurse aide finds a conscious client lying on the bathroom floor. The first thing the nurse aide should do is A. Help the client into a sitting position. B. Call for assistance from the nurse in charge. C. Offer the client a drink of water. D. Check for signs of injury. The correct answer is B. Call for assistance from the nurse in charge. Number 37. If a nurse aide finds a client who is sad and crying, the nurse aide should A. Ask the client if something is wrong. B. Tell the client to cheer up. C. Tell the client to stop crying. D. Call the client's family. The correct answer is A. Ask the client if something is wrong. Number 38. Clients have the right to A. Smoke in any area of the facility. B. Have access to a telephone. C. Go anywhere in the facility. D. See other clients' medical reports. The correct answer is B. Have access to a telephone. Number 39. Proper use of a waste restraint requires that the nurse aid A. Release the restraint every four hours. B. Watch for skin irritation. C. Tie restraints to the sitter rail. D. Apply the restraint tightly so the client cannot move. The correct answer is B. Watch for skin irritation. Number 40. To prevent the spread of infection, how should the nurse aide handle the soiled linens removed from a client's bed? A. Shake them in the air. B. Place them in a neat pile on the floor. C. Carry them close to the nurse aide's body. D. Put them in the dirty linen container. The correct answer is D. Put them in the dirty linen container. Number 41. A client needs to be repositioned but is heavy, and the nurse aide is not sure she can move the client alone. The nurse aide should A. Try to move the client alone. B. Have the family do it. C. Ask another nurse aide to help. D. Go on to another task. The correct answer is C. Ask another nurse aide to help. Number 42. 
To prevent dehydration of the client, the nurse aide should a. Offer fluids frequently while the client is awake. b. Wake the client hourly during the night to offer fluids. c. Give the client frequent baths. d. Feed the client salty food to increase thirst. The correct answer is a. Offer fluids frequently while the client is awake. Number 43. When transferring a client, most of the client's weight should be supported by the nurse aides. A. Back. B. Shoulders. C. Legs. D. Wrists. The correct answer is C. Legs. Number 44. To be sure that a client's weight is measured accurately, the client should be weighed. A. After a meal. B. By a different nurse aide. C. At the same time of day. D. After a good night's sleep. The correct answer is C. At the same time of day. Number 45. How many tips does a quad cane base have? A. 1. B. 2. C. 3. D. 4. The correct answer is D. 4. Number 46. Before taking the oral temperature of a client who has just finished a cold drink, the nurse aide should wait. A. 10 to 20 minutes. B. 25 to 35 minutes. C. 45 to 55 minutes. D. At least 1 hour. The correct answer is A. 10 to 20 minutes. Number 47. Which of the following methods is the correct way to remove a dirty isolation gown? A. Pull it over the head. B. Let it drop to the floor and step out of it. C. Roll it dirty side in and away from the body. D. Pull it off by the sleeve and shake it out. The correct answer is C. Roll it dirty side in and away from the body. Number 48. What would be the best way for the nurse aide to promote client independence in bathing a client who has had a stroke? A. Give the client a complete bath only when the client requests it. B. Encourage the client to do as much as possible and assist as needed. C. Leave the client alone and assume the client will do as much as she can. D. Limit the client to washing her hands. The correct answer is B. Encourage the client to do as much as possible and assist as needed. Number 49. A safety device used to assist a dependent client from a bed to a chair is called A. A. Posy vest. B. Hand roll. C. Transfer, gate belt. D. Footboard. The correct answer is C. Transfer, gate belt. Number 50. If a nurse aide needs to wear a gown to care for a client in isolation, the nurse aide must A. Wear the same gown to care for all other assigned clients. B. Leave the gown untied. C. Take the gown off before leaving the client's room. D. Take the gown off in the dirty utility room. The correct answer is C. Take the gown off before leaving the client's room.